So I started photography back in 2003, 2004, uh, and uh, it was lovely to do photography back then. But the problem is uh, that we were not uh, seeing any good shows or any good talks or seminars or anything from where we could learn anything. And uh, the entire uh, uh, world of photography in the context of Calcutta was extremely limited to travel photography, contest photography, you know, people were only interested in making single images, looking at compositions, color, movement, etc. You know, the very typical amateur vibe. So it was full of that. And uh, like most of the guys from my generation, uh, we found internet for the first time, unlike uh, the generation uh, before. So suddenly we found that, you know, the world of photography is much bigger than what we had initially uh, thought. So we were looking at works. I was completely obsessed with uh, photography back then. It was kind of madness. So I was looking at all different kinds of photographers and uh, which range from American color photography to the provoked generation in Japan to German photography to the so many things were happening. So it was all mind boggling. And on the other hand, these people were still stuck uh, with the kind of stuff that they were doing. So it was boring and uh, uh, that's the same reason for which we had to start traveling. You know, I applied for a workshop in Angkor in Cambodia where I met Antoine and then other people. There were participants from all across the world. So uh, that was the first kind of exchange. Uh, which I had, you know, and Delhi Photo Festival had also just happened. Uh, but uh, now things have changed, you know. Now such a festival like this, this, you know, it, it can change a uh, lot of these ideas. Uh, it, it can change, uh, it can change uh, the way a young photographer would engage with the medium of photography. Uh, so I think these guys now who are young and who are students are much more sort of uh, fortunate to have this around because we never had this. I can't remember of a proper photography exhibition that I had seen back then, you know. It's more of display, you know, you would see, you would go to these little galleries in Calcutta, including many government galleries and you would see uh, Photographs which is hanging behind an ugly background. It looks like a you know school project display kind of stuff. I mean, our entire idea of uh, a, a, an exhibition, a festival, a slideshow, you know, using a public space changed um, when we started traveling. When we started traveling outside, Canada. so I would say that you know the, this kind of an initiative is extremely uh, important in the context of Calcutta. It's extremely helpful for the young students. It's extremely helpful for anyone who's interested in photography. Uh, you know, and it's good. Uh, what is your idea about the uh, current contemporary practice in photography in this city? Uh, see, the current, um, the current practice, the current practice is um, it's much, it's, it's much more vibrant and uh, it's beautiful today. I mean, the environment, the ambience, everything uh, is extremely sort of positive. See, you have to understand that there is no, uh, there is no photographic uh, market as such uh, in Calcutta. So, there are no galleries. There's not a single gallery in Calcutta uh, which shows photography. There is uh, no museum which has photography. Uh, so there is no festival in photography. Yeah, yours is a attempt. But uh, when I talk about festivals, I uh, I think about festivals like the Delhi Photo Festival or Chobi Mela in Dhaka or Paris Photo in Paris or, you know, there are many, many all across the world. So which are done at a large uh, sort of scale. Uh, so, uh, the current, and what it does is the lack of all, all these has enabled uh, photographers from my generation 
to be isolated and uh, engage with their practice, which is beautiful. So what these photographers in Calcutta are doing right now is that they're just doing their work. And uh, it's great. I mean, all these photographers like Shan, who got the first uh, Umrao Shergil grant, which is the first grant in India for the constructed image. He got the first grant there. Uh, and he did a fiction, you know. He, he did a story, a fascinating story of this woman uh, who doesn't age. So, with which includes the entire history of photography. It's like one, um, one guy in a studio in Calcutta in some, some year finds a lot of images. What are these images? You know, and his work is that. Uh, so I, I don't know when his work will finish, but uh, uh, Shoham, he's been doing something for a very, very long time. And uh, he also did the workshop in Angkor with Antoine and then um, he has been trying to work on something called angst for a very, very long time now. There is Manas and Madhuban whose practice is very cutting edge. They got the first Skoda Award in India for the best ex exhibition. Uh, they also work with video. They recently made a fascinating uh, film with uh, with the last shots of other films you know they made something so see these kind of practice these kind of works are uh, uh, cutting edge as as in these kind of works are like you know they are uh, they're world class i would say you know you can show these works anywhere 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 in the world in any city so what I'm trying to say is that this kind of practice is not there. Say for example, Orko is uh, uh, working on stuff where he uh, is using photographs as material and uh, mm, he's taking photographs uh, from Google Maps, he's taking uh, snapshots from CCTV footages and he's doing amazing kind of work, it's not done before. Mm. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you take into consideration the entire uh, photographic scene in India at large, Calcutta has the most sort of vibrant uh, uh, sort of scene. I mean, there are many, many photographers in Calcutta who have a huge possibility. And this is something beautiful, you know. And if you take into consideration Bombay and Delhi, or Bangalore and these other cities which have more avenues, more galleries, more festivals, more curators, so on and so forth, the, the secondary market, etc, etc. Nothing like that does exist in Calcutta. And it's beautiful that these people are coming up with works um, which are great, which, are, which I would say is far better than any kind of practice happening anywhere in the country. In Calcutta, uh, there is uh, as such no uh, media collective culture as it exists in Delhi or other places. Uh, so, uh, what do you think in this context about this festival? How can this festival uh, like address that issue? Mm -hmm. See, uh, it's important for people to uh, do things. In a, in a collective way, you cannot work in a bubble, uh, of course, but at the same time, uh, they have their own sort of baggages and it has its own sort of asset and liability. Uh, it is extremely important for such a thing to happen because as I said that when we were uh, 19, 20, 21 years old, we didn't have this opportunity. For a festival, we had to travel to Dhaka or to Cambodia, you know. So, uh, this is important that, uh, this is great that young photographers today have this uh, option of just going three kilometers or two kilometers and looking at, I mean, uh, seeing a show or looking at a book or just attending a talk on photo book making or uh, they go and attend a workshop by someone like Sardar Pratik. So we, we never had that opportunity. 
you know, and we suffered because of that. For us, it was more of sort of trial and error, you know. You do something and then you realize after working for four, five months, six months that, you know, that that's not what you want to do. And then you wish that, you know, if you had a school in the city, if you had a certain sort of uh, guiding people who could tell you what to do, what not to do, we never had that. So we were fortunate that we have people like Saurabh Ura who taught a lot of these things to us. You know, I remember doing Saurabh's workshop in Delhi I, uh, and at Antoine's workshop in Angkor, he was helping out Antoine. And uh, I think these people changed a lot of uh, these things. And today, all of us, we're, we're working, we're working differently. Our works are completely different from each other, but we are all very closely knit. We know what's happening. Uh, we respect each other. We care for each other's work. Uh, we are brutal when it comes to talking about each other's work. Uh, but end of the day, uh, the the um, but end of the day, I will I will say this at the cost of I might sound a little arrogant, but there is this uh, there this sense of pride which is not there before, you know, which the city couldn't. Uh, sort of boast of. There's nothing to boast of today. There's nothing at all. I mean, please don't get me wrong. But whatever we have today in the city, we have created this with a lot of love, with a lot of uh, compassion, with a uh, lot of care. And uh, also, whatever you guys are doing today is somehow is a manifestation of what we did five, six years back. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been possible. So, what I'm trying to say is it's important to have these little avenues, but it's also important to sort of step outside this and engage with your practice in complete isolation. You will never see, I mean, why I'm saying all this? Because, uh, JUPC and your club and this club culture in Calcutta has dominated the photography scene for a long time. And this club culture has been associated with appreciating single images, travel images, a sadhu playing a football image is what these people care about. I have nothing against it. It's a free democratic country. Anybody is free to do whatever they want. But I don't want to associate that kind of photography with my practice or any of our practice. So I think your, I mean, whatever you are trying to do now, the festival, you can start initiating that dialogue. Then what are the boundaries of the medium? What can you achieve with the medium? If you want to tell something, how can you use photography and tell that story? But end of the day, uh, you have to tell your story. And only you can tell your story, you know. So, uh, I'm very happy that these discussions are being initiated. You're talking about photography in a much more profound and much more uh, sort of logical sort of way, keeping, uh, you know, everything into consideration. You know, the, uh, there's a certain kind of photography which is happening all across the world. And... Uh, how do you sort of bridge your practice and that, you know, in a tangible way? How do you make a difference? You know, what can you do here? Uh, so on and so forth. And it, it, I hope a lot of these questions can come out from the festival itself. So I'm very hopeful that it's good. But as I said, one needs to step back as well, as far as individual practice is concerned. Would you ask uh, practitioners like you uh, to be a part of this festival? Of course. I mean, we can only keep what we have by giving it away. So, something that I have learned in my life, which I have learned from other people, photographers, who have been sort of unconditional to tell me, uh, I mean, who told me unconditionally. Um, And they never care that, you know, what they are getting in return. And there are so many of them. There's Sarabura, there's Munem Basif, there is uh, 
in Calcutta I learned a lot from Manas and Madhuban. You know, I, I keep learning from all of my contemporaries. And it is an exchange for nothing. You know. Uh, say if you look at Prashant Panjir in Delhi, he's doing it unconditionally for so many years. Prashant has started the Delhi Photo Festival and he, he started this uh, 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 Nazar Foundation with Dinesh Khanna and they are doing it for so long and uh, in exchange of what? So, I am very happy that uh, you know if you can fit me into something there, you know if I can do my little bit along with others who are also doing their little bits, maybe talk about something they know maybe you know discuss about something they don't know so i mean these things are extremely important and as i said i mean we can only keep what we have by giving it away uh, would you like to say something to the uh, photography enthusiasts or the uh, practitioners in the uh, city uh, about what can they look forward to in this festival i mean i would say don't look forward to anything just come and just absorb what is happening, you know, and learn to listen and listen and learn is what I have to say. Thank you.